Okay, my, my, my nickname, the golden boy, it came from a young age uh, because My name is Oscar Lin. I was born in 1989, the golden year, this is Linus Karliensis, in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, and yeah, still here I am. I grew up in Stockholm, in a suburb called uh, Högdalen. Uh, I was a, like a, I guess, a kind of normal kid, a chubby kid that liked to just play, play around and just, do stupid things ish <laughs> like my, my father is a trainer he's an old boxer and my uh, uncle is also a boxer or boxer uh, and uh, so at the age of like five I joined my father to the gym and I was just I, I didn't train like every time I was just playing around running around look at all the fighters he trained and uh, so yeah we're at the gym like all the time with him uh, but when I started training for real myself uh, I started at the age of uh, maybe like seven eight then I trained like four to five times a, a week first time I really noticed that I was kind of good like actually I could box it wasn't that early I just found it really nice doing it uh, it was fun like the boxing gym was my family. My father said to me, because I, I cannot like do things in front of people. I get super nervous. So he was like, try one fight just to, so, so you don't grow old and like, oh, I should have been doing this and that. So he was like, just try one, then you've done it. And then you can like make a decision if you want to keep going or not. So I think at that moment when I actually had my first fight, I was like, okay, I love it. I want to do it and I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. My first competition uh, was at uh, 2005. I was 15 years old. Because uh, in Sweden, you cannot box like full contact before you're 15. So I waited <clears throat> and uh, I lost my first fight, uh, I, which I think was good. Because uh, like, got me like hungrier. I wanted to get back. Like from going to the to the ring, I was like, I didn't see anything. I was just like, it was just dark. I was like super nervous. I didn't know where to go. I just followed my father who trained me. And uh, but it, it, when the bell rang, I was still nervous. But when he punched me, <laughs> like the first punch in my face, I was like, then everything went away. So then it was just like back to back to what I'm doing, what I'm doing in the gym. So. But yeah, it was a weird, weird feeling and like experience, but at the same time, it was like love straight away. My biggest setback in my uh, boxing career so far is 2015 when I had my first loss as a pro. And it was just like, it wasn't me and I lost and, and uh, I got dropped for the first time as a pro. Yeah, I lost some decision, but still it was like, it wasn't me. I didn't feel like me. I, I took decisions in the fight that I sh would never do like normally. So it was just, it was a f weird feeling of like, I did something that I sh shouldn't do. And I knew like, I had the blueprint of what I should do, but I didn't do it. So I was just, and that took like, a, it, it it, it was kind of hard on me because I, I failed myself, kind of. So, but that was, I, I think until today, that's my biggest setback. Because for, before that fight, I have two, uh, like, my wife got two kids in an earlier uh, relationship. And the youngest of those two, uh, he told me before the fight, I, not just for that fight, like in general, you have to be like Floyd Mayweather, you can never lose. And I was like, of course, I'm gonna be, I never lose, blah, blah, blah. Just like, okay. And the, when I came back home from that fight, the first thing I met, like when I opened 
the door, I saw him. So, and we like, like our eyes connected and I, I was just like start crying because I felt like I failed him. I told him like one or two months before, like I would never, I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna be the like perfect, whatever. And I came home with my first loss and that was devastating. I was just, I saw his eyes and, and he was like, it's okay, no worries. But I, I felt like I, I failed him big time. After, after my loss, even I, I didn't think about quitting because it was just kind of, it wasn't me. If, if I would just be, if I would just suck at it, I, I couldn't deliver like the actual, like everything. I would maybe think about like quitting, but that wasn't an option. Which is like, I needed to regroup and find myself because I felt like it wasn't me. And uh, nah, qu quitting is not an option. Uh, it's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going till I reach my goal. Then if it's bumps on the road, I don't, I don't care. It's just, I'm, I'm gonna get there in one way or another. I, my my nocos, uh, I drink them like any time. <laughs> I can start the day with a noco, not be because I'm tired. I'm not that coffee kind of guy. Like I need to get started. Uh, so if, if I if I if I'm feel if I if I'm feeling for it, I'm just go for it. Uh, and my favorite, oh, that's so hard right now. I got three. I got the Miami uh, the Miami one. Uh, and then the ice soda and the sunny soda. So the, the, I don't really know, but if you go by, by uh, can, this is the nicest one, right? So I go with Miami. I love Miami too. So let's go with Miami. Why I'm a bit different from the other boxers. I'm always hungry. I, I'm, I'm not satisfied in any way how I, perform which is a bad thing also because i never enjoy my victories i'm like ah oh, on to the next one just like move move yeah and then also it's like i, I want to accomplish more than just being a good fighter i want to do more for like i, I want to get my voice heard so it's not only for the actual titles or like the, the being famous and all that. I, I don't care that much. I just want to, yeah, I, I want something bigger than only boxing. It's like, yeah, it's super good to be uh, the best boxer in the world, and, but it comes more to that. So the, the drive to actually be more than just a world champion or I'm good at my sport and all that, I think that's what's, pu what's pushing me harder. I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm not the, like the textbook kind of fighter. I drop my hands a lot. I trust my like reflexes and all that. Uh, and especially to be a white guy in Europe doing that, that's pretty rare. The European kind of way of boxing is like, oh, you put your hands up high and like you, you're str you've got strong physique and all that. To have the actual like, uh, you want to create something. It's not that common in Sweden or Sweden in Europe. Everybody got that textbook. Okay, you gotta start with your left, and then you follow up with this and that. And and I think you just limit yourself if you think like that in everything. Then if it's work or sport or in life, you should push and try to think outside the box. And that's what I do. So I think that's what's making me a bit different from like the, the especially like the, the European fighters. Okay, my, my, my nickname, the golden boy, uh, it came from a young age uh, because there's another professional boxer and he, Oscar De La Hoya, his nickname was the golden boy. And then Oscar, Oscar, it, like they connected us in a, in a way. He fought the day before me, but in the States, of course. Uh, and after that fight, he retired. So the ring announcer, next day when I was fighting, he was like, oh, and the golden boy from Stockholm, he's taking the name, blah, 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 blah. So after that, it kind of stuck. Uh, 
and very important, a fighter cannot choose their own nickname. Like that, that's a big no-no. So I never like gone out with like, oh, call me the golden boy. And that's what, what, what people say. My favorite part of everything connected to my boxing or boxing training, uh, it has to be uh, the sparring because it's most likely to the fight. Uh, and I love to be creative in that way. Like when I've been away from boxing for a, for a while, the things I miss is actually, it sounds weird, but to get punched in the face because <laughs> it's, it's, some, some, it's a feeling that you cannot like switch out with something else. Uh, but also like you, you, you can only be in the moment. You cannot think about, oh, I have to pick up those kids or what should I eat for dinner? It's like, I have to be there at the, like now. Otherwise I get my ass kicked. Uh, so I, I would say sparring is, is the most uh, satisfying and fun thing in training. I wish I could only do sparring. No weightlifting, no running, no hitting the heavy bag. If I could just spar and then get ready, that would be awesome, but it's not that way. <laughs> the biggest thing I would say, uh, if you gonna start be successful in your sport, boxing or not, uh, is to believe in yourself. Uh, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. And just put in the work. Like, if, if you really like it and you believe in yourself, put in the work. Don't trust the talent or just be hardworking. And try to be like better for every day. Be the best you. My name is Oscar Alin and I'm. My name is Oscar Lin. Well, same man, I was born. Same man, what's the end? For fun, it's so rude. I was, what's up, what's up, Excuse me, I can't work with these kind of people, man. The bottom is a